This is uh, question number four in chapter seven, seven dash four, course to steer. It's a current type problem, type C. And this is um, an issue where you have uh, two geographic points that you want to go from and to, and there's a known current flowing, and you want to go directly to your destination, and what we have to do is calculate what course to steer the boat in order to compensate for the current. So let's look at the uh, reading of this question. This is number four and you're at point B and you want to sail straight to point E. Current is setting at 340 degrees true at 2.1 knots. Boat speed is 7.1 knots. What course should you steer PSC to travel directly to point E. How long will it take you? Well, in order to do this, the first thing we want to do is draw a line from our originating point to our destination. So we're at point B and we want to sail directly to point E. Here's B up in the upper right hand corner and here is E. So let's draw the course line this is the course that we want to achieve. Now I drew that line and without move, I'm going to move my parallel rules over to the middle of the compass rows, okay, parallel to that line, and draw another line through the center of the compass rows. And having done that, I can read now what is the true course over ground that I want to end up with. And this says 212, 212 is the course that I want to achieve over ground. Now, the second point is that we have a current flowing, and this says the current is setting at 340 degrees true. So we come over here to 340. Here's 360, 350, 340 right here. And I draw a line through 340. And that is the direction of the current flow. And the current is setting at a speed of 2.1 knots. So what I'd like to do is set my um, dividers at 2.1 miles to represent the 2.1 knots. So I come here, I'm 105, here's 1, 2, 2.1. And I've set this at 2.1 miles to represent 2.1 knots. I'm going to take that, put the point at the center of the compass rows, and come up here and strike a mark, an arc there. And that length represents 2.1 knots of current speed. The other thing that I know is that the boat speed is 7.1 knots. So I'm going to reset this, my dividers, to, seven, to represent 7.1 knots. So I'm going to open these up and set it on 26 degrees zero. Here's 567.1. These are now set at an opening of 7.1 nautical miles. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to put the point at this mark that I made on the, on the drift vector, the current vector, and I'm going to swing an arc until it intersects this line that I drew here. And with that, I'm able to draw the third side of a triangle, and we call this triangle a speed triangle, and I'll describe each side of this triangle to you. So when I draw this line in here, I now have a triangle. I'm going to make it a little darker with my magic marker here, but here's the triangle I'm talking about. 
here, here, and here. A little crooked, but that's the triangle. Now, this side of the triangle represents the current. And <clears throat> the direction of it represents the current direction, and the length of it represents the current speed. This side of the triangle represents the boat speed and direction through the water. So this is the boat course and speed through the water. And this side of the triangle represents the boat speed and direction over ground. And we call that COG and SOG. So it's course over ground and speed over ground. Now, let's look at this little table that I have here. When we started out, we had um, course being course to steer, because that's the question. What course do I have to steer in order to travel directly from B to E? Okay? And I have a question mark here. I didn't know what course to steer. But I did know boat speed, 7.1 knots, that was given. That's the boat speed through the water. I knew the current set and drift, they were given as 340 true and drift at 2.1 knots. I knew the course over ground that I wanted to achieve, and I got that by drawing the line from B to E, moving it over to the center of the compass rows, and reading 212 true. That's the, co the course I want to achieve over ground. What I didn't know was speed over ground. So the two things that I didn't know was the course to steer and the speed over ground that I would achieve by that steering that course. So course to steer I'm now going to determine by moving this line that I drew in over to the center of the compass rows, drawing it out here, 198 true. Okay, so the course to steer is 198 true. The question was, what course to steer PSC, per ship's compass? So I do a normal TVMDC for that. Here's 198 that I just determined, 198. My variation is 9 west for this chart, as we calculated before, 9 west. I'm now going from left to right in this table. And so the westerly variation is, a, is an addition. So it's 198 plus 9 is 207 magnetic I have to steer. My deviation, I'm going to look up based on this heading of um, 207. 207 is pretty close to 210, so I'm going to use this zero degree deviation, put zero in there, and then calculate that the course to steer is 207 PSC per ship's compass. So the answer to this part, course to steer is 207 PSC. The next question is, how long will it take to get from B to E. Well, to determine that, I have to determine how fast the boat is going over ground. Remember, the 7.1 was the speed through the water. But over ground is the length of this side of the triangle. See boat, COG, SOG? So if I measure the length of that side, that will tell me how fast the boat, you see what I'm measuring here. I'm measuring from the center of the compass rows to that point here. It's measuring this, the length of this side of the triangle. And I come over here 
and I can determine that and I find that uh, my speed over ground is uh, 5.6 5.6 knots so the question is how long will it take in order to take, figure that I have to take the distance and divide by speed over ground as shown here distance divided by speed over ground the distance I have to measure from B to E how far I'm going to travel well that's too long for my divider so let, let me set the dividers at 5 and I'm going to go at B start at B put a little mark that's 5 put another little mark that's 10 then I take my dividers and reset them I have 5 plus 5 is 10 and um, find out what that distance is I find that that's 2.5 so it's 5 plus 5 is 10 plus 2.5 is 12.5 is the total distance so the time is the distance 12.5 divided by the speed 5.6 comes out to 2.23 hours and I convert that to 2 hours and 14 minutes so that is the time 2 hours and 14 minutes to um, to get from B to E steering a course of 207 per ship's compass and that is a um, type C current problem.